So this is our third uh, event on uh, data that we've had over the last uh, 12 to 18 months. Um, so over the last um, 12 months, 18 months, Antonio's been working with uh, BRE, the ODI, uh, uh, and a few other organizations uh, on a series of uh, interviews all around open data. We need to kind of move out and try to find a format to measure not only building performance, but the impact of the construction industry within society. We're trying to answer this question, who can handle the complexity and variety of the built environment data? We looked at open data. What tends to happen is, if you have a data set and you give it away, you suddenly are able to leverage a community, a global community of software developers who will try to do something with your data set. Or, in commercial terms, you get free R&D. And after a small software house based somewhere in Shoreditch comes back with a new app using your own data, you suddenly realize there's a new business model. Transport for London releases information regarding bus, and you end up with CityMapper. And off the back of the data tracking that CityMapper can deliver, Transport for London gets a fantastic benefit. And I think what we're talking about this evening is, you know, how do we ensure we strike the right balance mm -hmm between uh, basically being open and sharing information and, and not. So I think the question really is when, is, when is it right to share information, when is it not? All the evidence points to the fact that collaborative working delivers better outcomes um, and is central to achieving sustainability and all manner of other positive things. So I think you know, what we're seeing is a kind of transition from the previously accepted wisdom of knowledge is power to you know, relatively emergent view of sharing uh, knowledge is influence, uh, recognising that ultimately influence is power. I always talk about um, the, the three real drivers of why businesses are working with open data. There's this reputation, which I'll come to later, but there's also efficiency and, and innovation, and that was mentioned earlier. And it's how do you become more efficient? From being in the ODI, I really see how there's a big driver in government and actually very clued up, very clever digital people within government who work a lot with the Cabinet Office, the um, Government Digital Service, who are really on board with Open now in terms of you know, working with the likes of BRE and thinking about you know, the future of Britain in terms of smart cities and the built environment. And that's coming from government. Then we've got the likes of BRE and big players, and then we've got the likes of small players. So I'm very encouraged about you know, how this is all building out. We gather lots and lots of data, and then we give a certificate at the end. But actually, we don't, we're now not throwing any of that data away. And when people ask us, what are you going to do with that data? One of the nice things is, I don't know what we're going to do with it, but we're going to do something with it. Or some, but the, the nice thing I think about the open data part is that somebody will do something with it. I guess it's the shift of the idea that it's not the data that's valuable, it's how you use it that's valuable, it's what you do with it. So even if we open some of that data, we're still the curators of it, we're still the people who gather that data, we're still the people who have the IP which creates that data. Maybe we are, we're not the best place people to show those social impacts, but somebody else is probably really, somebody else is probably much better at it and really good at it. Somebody else who's not maybe in the construction industry can do something with it and actually show and research it. So it would be a good idea for us to open it. Comes back again to this point of, you know, construction isn't operating in a vacuum it's it's and neither is any other sector and then if there are certain <coughs> excuse me pivotal areas like transportation or something like that there's a whole load of different sectors who are interested in transport not everybody's going to have the data that's the valuable stuff that needs to be open so i'm not going to say to you your company needs to open up data today absolutely not but the the idea of open data having a you know being the the raw material it's going to drive everything. Yeah, exactly, but there might not be a commercial benefit today. Mm -hmm. So our mission as G4C is to be the driving force behind industry change for young people in the industry. Uh, we really seek to uh, harness uh, the voice, uh, give them a network uh, and try and give them a, a platform to, to make some noise, to, to make some change. Um, so thank you all for coming. Uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. Um, the, the videos, all four hours of them, are available uh, online. Uh, I got through the first hour so far and it is very interesting. It's well worth trying to find some time uh, uh, to, to, to look through it. Um, uh, thank you very much for coming.